Hi and welcome back to the channel. And on today's video, let's get going with the Experts Cup Rally. So, it's been an insane few weeks since the last time I had a chance to get a video out. Again, apologies for that. Have Well, we've had our hands really, really full with uh, trying to get a uh, slight dent out of a car uh, to be ready for this last round of the State Rally Championship. We are in Collie for a change. The sky is blue. We haven't had many of those rallies this year. It's been wet and horrible for most of them, and those conditions have proved fairly treacherous. However, it's a lovely day in the uh, early 20s today, which is great news for the final round of the championship. Big field for this rally, 56 uh, entries. We haven't seen those numbers for more than 15 years, so that's uh, really good to see a really uh, big field as well, and comprising of state championship and clubman. Six stages for state and three stages for clubman, all will get a 30 minute service. For this rally, we're running a four car team, also the largest team for us for this year. We've got Todd and Cash, in their S15 Sylvia, Hugh and Karen in the WRX, Tim and John in the WRX, and Tiana and Graham rounding out the field in the Impreza, running in the Clubman. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us today. Let's go and see how the rally goes together. Not only did we have a big field, the Experts Cup would be the decider of the State Rally Championship, the State Two-Wheel Drive Championship and the Clubman Series as well. And let's not forget, Lee McElroy was celebrating a birthday with a big milestone reached as well. OK, back to our team, and Todd and Cash were the first ones on the stages, and unfortunately Cash suffered a bit of motion sickness early in the rally, and actually just stopping the stage for a while, and then sort of take it easy to get back to service. Thankfully, some travel sickness tablets at the service and cash was good to go and the boys went out and had a better second run of the stages. Our other state championship cars weren't having any drama. Hugh and Karen settled into the rhythm of the rally early and got on with it. And the same with Tim and John. They were having a great time too. Clubman format was slightly different for this rally, with them starting later on in the event, having a service, Yahoo, and then finishing the last two stages around the same time that State would finish. It meant Tiana and Graham would finish just on dusk, and they did very well for this rally after the big accident from the last one, finishing the Clubman in fifth place. While we're on the subject of two-wheel drive, there's the state two-wheel drive to talk about as well. And basically this was a three-way battle. And coming into this one, the two front runners, which were Mark Travis in his Toyota Sprinter and Glenn Alcorn in his Ford Escort, were tussling it out. And both of those had troubles which put them out of title contention. Have a listen with the gear selection dramas in the Escort. <laughs> And with those dramas, it was Gary Mills and Mitch Gray that benefited winning state two-wheel drive in their Ford Fiesta. For this rally, thankfully, we weren't under a huge amount of pressure to get everything done in service because we didn't have our full crew with us. 30 minutes is usually very quick when you've got a heap to do. However, we had a little bit more time on this one and apart from some routine maintenance and fitting spotlights to the cars, everything was good to go with a splash of fuel for the last three stages. Having a much better second run of the stages, Todd and Cash finished 27th. Tim and John had a trouble-free run and finished 26th. Hugh and Karen were seemingly pleased with their rally, finishing a solid 23rd. Well, that neatly brings us to the state champions for 2021, and it's John O'Dowd and Tony Fever. They clawed back the points and took the win in their Skoda Fabia R5. Okay, so that's how our 2021 season finished up. Actually, uh, a bit of a high note, I think. Basically, uh, apart from a little bit of tinkering and a few little bits and pieces here and there, most of this stuff is, is development work for next year. And believe me, we're already in the planning stages for that because next year is going to be a very big year for us. So stay tuned for that. And whilst that's the end of the rally season, it is certainly not the end of our videos. There is a bit of a backlog there, losing nearly a month getting this thing sorted out really took its toll. And I know I've said that a few times during the year, but we are hoping to get 
get a few more videos sorted out. There's a, a few in the can there that we just need to edit up and get going. So keep your eye out for those. A few thank yous uh, before I wind this thing up. First of all, to Oakley Percival and to Garrett McIntyre. Both of these guys uh, go out and film uh, the rallies for their own personal use and their own personal channels. And uh, they're good enough to let us use their footage for our videos as well. So thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Links will be in the description below to their channels. Also to Eminem this year, who have gone above and beyond on a number of occasions, Mick and the boys. Uh, also, I'd like to thank the uh, all of you uh, who have watched the videos this year. Thank you for your support. Uh, also the comments either at rallies uh, or online or whatever that has been uh, fantastic. Please um, keep that up, makes it worthwhile for us to do these videos. So I'm gonna wind this one up now. So please like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.